How to fade audio in Premiere Pro? It's a very basic question, but it's being asked a lot. So let's talk about that real quick. Let's say we've got this clip here and it's fading out nice and smooth, but the audio has no, has no fade out. So it's a hard cut. And what we wanna do is just this. Did you see that? Not even a second. So what did I do here? When the clip is highlighted, when it's selected, use the shortcut Control, Shift, and D. It's being, it's applying the transition to both ends. Let's assume there is an edit here, and this is the end of the video. Delete that, and that's it. Fading out nice and smooth. So what did I do? I applied the default audio transition to the clip. Control, Shift, D, or Command, Shift, D, if you're on a Mac, is applying the default audio transition, and Control D or com Command D is applying the default video transition. Let's go to the Effect Controls panel up here. I have it open already. Audio transitions, crossfade, and constant power. If you notice, there's a blue line around this effect. So that indicates that it has been set as a default transition. You could do that with any effect. You could do this one and set it as the default transition. The blue line just indicates this is what is being applied when you use the shortcut. So that's basically the only thing that was happening here. Okay, select it, control shift D, boom. Let's open this up a little bit so we can see a little better what's going on. And boom, that's it. You could also select the effect and extend it a little bit so it, it fades out a little smoother. All right, simple as that. I say that a lot simple as that, right? In my tutorials, <laughs> because it is simple. Really, when you break it down to these simple steps or uh, small digestible steps, it's so easy, Premiere Pro, it's so easy to learn. Actually, same thing with After Effects. People are so intimidated, but it's really easy once, once you get a hang of it. So back to the topic. So here's this thing what we did with the default transition, but what if you wanna do it manually? So you see this line right here. I have lowered the, the audio gain a little bit, the audio level. This indicates the volume. What you can do with this line is when you hold the control key, it will set a keyframe. And then let's go to the end. Create another keyframe, let go of the control key and drag it all the way down. You can still, if even if you don't have to keep the mouse button pressed, you can still move this around or make it shorter or longer. And it this basically does the same thing. It fades it out. But the good thing about this is you have much more control over it. Sometimes, like in my tutorials, when I do the outro, um, I have to... Um, decrease the volume very quickly and then I can keep fading it out a little slower. So you have much more control over the fade out. And that's basically it. What is this what, what this control key does, you're you're basically switching when you're hovering over this line, you're basically switching to the pen tool. Okay? So let me demonstrate that as a last step. When you go over to the toolbar, here's the pen tool right th like here with the P key. And that's, as you can see, that's exactly the same thing, right? So you can set keyframes to your volume level. And that's it. To summarize, when you have the clip selected, control shift D applies the default audio transition. Whoops. <laughs> the, applies the default audio transition. You could as well go to the effects and then go to audio transition, crossfade, constant power. Apply that to your clip. That's basically the same. And this blue line actually indicates the default audio transition. And there's also the video um, counterpart cross dissolve. As you can see, this is the audio, the default. Let's, let's do that. The default video transition. And what you could actually, you could be, uh, you could do that as an intro as well. Let's say control D, control shift D, delete this, delete that, boom. Perfect intro. Okay, as you can see, really easy. When you get a hang of these shortcuts, Control D and Control Shift D, you can work uh, in your timeline very, very quickly. And we have one more thing to do, and that's um, giving away the next gift card. As you know, it's giveaway in November. I'm giving away 30 gift cards every single day in November, $50 each. Of course, we have a new winner. I activated my comment picker tool and the winner from yesterday's video is Jax Bax. 
J-A-X Bay A-X. Sounds interesting. But Jax Bax, congratulations. You won the next $50 gift card. To, to win the next gift card, just give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Can be any comment, but questions are very welcome. Anything related to this video is very welcome. Not just, hey, I want to win the car. <laughs> that would be great. So I can work with it. You know, the more questions you have, the more I can answer. I love teaching. As, in, as you can see, when it's broken up in uh, small bits, it's very easy. It's very approachable. And I love teaching that way. And it always puts a smile on my face when people say, hey, that was very helpful. Thank you for that. So if you have any specific questions, let me know. Anything related to this video, let me know. Could be as well anything about video cameras, video production related. Yeah, that's it for today. That's how to fade audio in Premiere Pro. And I hope I will see you tomorrow.